I have just introduced you to the term dependent compound probability. We'll explore more about it, right? And this time we are going to use tree diagram. A bag contains four marbles, one each of red, blue, green, and yellow color. You pick a marble at random and then pick another one from the bag. Draw a tree diagram to represent this situation and then find the following probabilities. Probability number one you need to find is probability of getting red and green marble. And the second one, probability of not getting red marble. Right? So that is the question. So what we will do is we will draw first a tree diagram understand the question and then solve and find the answers. Now there are four marbles red, blue, green and yellow. You pick a marble at random. So what are the possibilities? So that means if you pick at random you could pick either one of these four marbles. So it could be red, blue, green or yellow right since there are four marbles. correct? So let's say these are your four options. correct? So these options could be, when you pick up, you could get either red or you could get blue or green or yellow, right? So these are the four options. So you'll get these four. So they are equally likely. Either one of them you could get. What is the probability of getting red? What is the probability of getting blue? What is the probability of getting green or yellow in this? Well, the probability is there are four equally likely outcomes, right? So these are all equally likely. And there are four in all. So there are four in all. Is it okay? So either one of them, the chances are one out of four. So this is one out of four. This is also one out of four. This is also one out of four. And this is also one out of four. So that is when you draw or pick the marble for the first time. So let me write this here. This is your first draw. Right. Now second time. When you do it second time then what happens? Remember one thing. If you pick red, you are not replacing the red one. right? So the second time when you pick, you got only these three left with you. Correct? So second time from red, you could get either blue or green or yellow. Right? So only three possibilities are there since red has been already picked. right? So let me write here. So the possibility is getting blue or green or yellow. So these, these are the three possibilities. Now remember one thing that in this case since we have not replaced the marble the things have changed. Right? The outcome of the second time is different from that from the first. Earlier we had four, right? Once you pick one in the bag, there are only three marbles. So now the probability of getting either one of them is one third. One out of three. One out of three for blue, one out of three for green, and one out of three for yellow, correct? Right? That is how the probability is in the second case. But all are equally likely, right? All are equally likely, right? Same probabilities. Do you see that? Now we can continue this table and fill up the rest of the things. Now if you have blue picked up, in that case also there are three possibilities, right? So the three possibilities for this is that you could get either red, green or yellow. Since blue has been removed, right? So you could get red, green or yellow, right? And in case of green and yellow, so let me draw three more like this and complete our tree diagram right so that is how the tree diagram is going to be for green it will be red blue and yellow and for yellow it is going to be red blue or green so, so these are all the possibilities correct now for the second set the probability of each is going to be one third right so I'm writing one third here or oh, for all the three, right? Since there is less space, so I just don't want to squeeze it in. But anyway, you get an idea that in the first draw, probability of getting either one of those marbles is one fourth, and in the second draw, it is one third, right? Now, 
it is a compound event since there are two draws, right? There are two events. Therefore, it is a compound event. Second, since the first outcome influences the second, right? It is dependent. So you have understood with this example, two things. One, it is a case of compound event since there are more than one event involved. And second, the second outcome is dependent on the first and therefore it is a dependent event, right? So that is what I wanted to make you explain here with this very simple example. And now let's try to answer our question. So the question here is, you are getting, you want to find probability of red and green marble. Now let me explain you one more point here. When we say red and green, so let me do part, this is my A and this is B. And now let's talk about A. So when we say probability of red and green, it means you could get red first and then green, or you could get green first and then red. Do you see that? So both cases are possible. So in probability, when we say or, that means probability for getting red and green plus, that means plus, probability of getting green and red, or means plus in probability, right? So both will give us red and green marble, right? So you pick one and next one, and ultimately when you see your hand, you have two marbles, right? Irrespective of the fact which came first. That order is not very critical here. But ultimate result is, that is, you want one red and one green. So how do you get this red and green? So that means you pick up first red and then green. So this is one possibility, which gives you red and green. The other one is you pick green first and then red. That means you follow this path, right? So that means this path and then green and red. So this is the second one, which you get green and then red. Correct. Now, what is the probability of getting these two? So first let's find out probability of getting red and green or green and red from these. As you can see, all these options are also equally likely. Correct. So what we see in the first row, we have probability of one fourth of getting all this and in the second lot, it is one third. Correct. So all are equally likely. So all are equally likely. Correct? Since all are equally likely, we can say how many are likely out of total. So what are the total number of combinations? Total number of combinations are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Correct? So total outcomes are 12. So it is over 12. And how many favors this? 1 and 1, 2. 2 favors this, right? So therefore, this probability should be equal to 2 over 12. Okay? So that we can get from our tree dragon straight, knowing all the options. There is an alternate way of doing it, and we are going to explore this alternate way for most of our questions from now onwards, right? Because always, writing these becomes very cumbersome, but finding with this product is kind of simpler. So when the problems are kind of for biased things or when things are not equally likely, then the method which I'm now going to discuss will be better to follow. So it's a good idea to introduce you to that method. So the method is like this. What is the probability of getting red and then green? That means we are following this path. So let me use this color. I purposely use this color here. First red, that means first this, that means one fourth and then green. When it comes and, we just multiply them. So it is one fourth times one third. So the probability of this is one fourth, no, one fourth times one third, right? Plus probability of getting green and then red. Green is one fourth and then red, one third. So that is also one fourth times one third. Do you see that? So that is the probability. When you add it up, it is one fourth plus one third is one twelfth plus one twelfth and add add them you get two out of twelve or one sixth correct same thing so you get the same result one over six correct so one sixth is the probability of getting red and green marble in this particular case i hope you understand the process now let's do the second part which is 
let me do write this down as probability we are talking about now the part 2 not red so when we say part B is probability of not red so let me write not red that means what that means which are the cases where you get both red if we exclude those then we get not red so not red means that we don't get red in the first trial and we don't get red in the second trial also that is not red right so red is not there so any other color so what we can do is we can find out how many times do we get red and then we can get rid of those right so if we get follow this path we get red so we can forget about all other cases because you got at least one red right now let's go through the other paths so in the other paths we find not red will be these two cases correct and then not red will be again these two cases and then when you follow the third path not red is these two cases so how many out of these combinations are not red so not red cases is if you write them out you'll find that out of these 12 not red cases are let me use this ink and then write down our answers let's count not red means you get blue and green so you get blue green here then you get blue yellow correct in this case you get green and blue green and yellow and in this case you get yellow and blue and yellow and green right so these are not red cases so how many are these one two three four five six six out of twelve so we get this answer as six out of twelve which is half so probability of getting not red in this particular case is half so they're so easy to calculate from your tree diagram now when we talk about probability tree diagram then what we do is we go along a path right so as we went there so it is not red means blue times green that means one fourth times one third you see so this probability is is one fourth times one third now how about the next one which is blue and then yellow that is also one fourth times one third is it okay so how many times do you get one fourth times one third so every probability of getting the first one is one fourth probability of getting the second one is one third so in all probability of getting this combination is one twelfth and how many combinations do we have we have one two three four five six combinations right so it should be six times one twelfth do you see that you get same result six over twelve which is half correct so you get same result with both the methods now we could use method number one in this case since it is equally likely imagine if we have a case which is not equally likely then can we use this method the answer is no and that is the reason why in this video I have introduced you both the methods it seems that you know multiplying then adding is more difficult than just counting and adding right well in most of the cases when we don't have equally likely cases we cannot use that first method and so we have to move on from here onwards to what I'm telling you that is this probability tree with probability on each branch so if we are going through a branch they get multiplied just remember that and we'll follow this principle in the following examples and hope you'll start appreciating it more and more I hope you like it and understand the topic. Thank you and all the best.